He's a great lad, but he can't even direct traffic. Late Diago Maradona expressed his opinion when Lionel Scaloni was appointed as a coach. It seems Mr. Scaloni took it very personally. <laughs> we immediately think of Messi when we hear the word Lionel. Now, however, it will either be Lionel Messi or Lionel Scaloni. Who is he, though? What accomplishments does he have? Well, come with us. Learn about this mastermind. Number one. A temporary start. Do you remember Jorge Sampaoli? He was his assistant coach. <laughs> the difference between the fiery Sampaoli and the demure Scaloni, Argentina's assistant at the most recent World Cup, could not be more obvious. His selection came in the wake of a contentious last 16 exit in Russia, which drew much criticism and dissatisfaction from those who thought he had the proper credentials. As Jorge Sampaoli's turbulent tenure came to a close in 2018, Scaloni, 44, was thrust into the hot seat on a temporary basis. Since then, he has taken over and has guided the Elba Celeste to winning a third World Cup. Number two, fulfilled Messi's dream. After the World Cup ended, a tweet went viral where Scaloni requested Messi not to retire after the 2016 Copa loss. Destiny was defined. Or was it? The caretaker who won the World Cup is the understated leader of Argentine football and the one who made Lionel Messi's fantasies come true. Scaloni has demonstrated game by game that he can adjust his strategy to fit any circumstance. Depending on the opposition, he uses a different 11th player in his lineup. Leandro Paredes was the fourth central midfielder against Croatia and Luka Modric, while Lissandro Martinez was the third center defender against the Netherlands. Angel Di Maria was listed last on the roster for the World Cup final. The 34-year-old had not started since the group stages due to an injury, and he had missed the 2014 final due to injury. The winner of last year's Copa America Championship game won a penalty and scored a beautiful team goal after being informed he would be playing an hour and a half before the game. After 79 minutes, Scaloni's decision to go with Di Maria appeared to be a stroke of genius. Hats off, man! Number 3. A Guardian Angel the 44-year-old faced the difficult job of bringing back a footballing powerhouse and being the driving force to bring back the glory days while having no prior experience managing at the club level. And Scaloni succeeded in doing the unimaginable in a spectacular way. Argentina ultimately broke a 36-year World Cup drought thanks to his methods and tactics. Scaloni has contributed to three international trophy victories for Argentina since taking the position in 2018. Prior to securing the finalissima in 2022, he laid out La Alba Celeste's route to the Copa America Championship in 2021. And in Qatar, the cherry on top. He was recognized as a national treasure because of his acumen and awareness of the game. Only three managers have ever accomplished this feat in the history of the sport, and Scaloni is now the first Argentinian coach to win the FIFA World Cup and the Copa America. Scaloni, 44, won the World Cup on Sunday, December 18th, becoming the fifth youngest manager to do so. It would be fair to say that Scaloni, 44, has now conquered not just Argentina, but the entire world. Scaloni frequently outperformed the manager of the opposing team and rallied his players when things looked bleak. Scaloni ended up being the protector while Messi was the messiah. Will Scaloni become one of the greatest coaches as the time goes by? What are your thoughts on him? Do let us know in the comments. And don't forget to watch this video next as we discuss how Argentina won the World Cup 2022. Till then, keep footballing.